At 36, I retired. 37, became a millionaire. 38, I was speaking at Yale. And when I started doing this and I started coaching people, everybody wanted to know how that happened. They're like, whoa, you did what? So I would tell them exactly the strategies and the how and, and the why, and I would share this with them, and then they wouldn't do it. And it wasn't until I figured out the key to everything, which was who matters more than everything else. So what is the guy that's unfucking stopping? That's just like, bam. I think it's me, man. And so no. growing up, though, who was actively in your life that you wanted love and respect for? My mother. Your mother. Mm -hmm. In our lives, we have one version of us when we're with our family, and another version when we go on a job interview, and a different version when we have naked time. And if I mix up naked time with interview, that's either gonna be one hell of an interview or really crappy naked time. So I drove back home and I'm pounding ice cream and I've got music playing and I'm writing. I was like, hey, well this guy gets up at seven in the morning. What time does this guy get up? <laughs> Whatever he wants. This guy eats this, this guy eats this. This guy works out. I was back and forth all the way and I was like, does he work for this company? Hell no, I didn't work for that company. This guy had to go away, but this guy could create solutions. And it wasn't until I figured out with the who that I got to retire like that. Who matters more than anything else?